Welcome to SBFF Tiếng Việt giọng miền Nam cho người nước ngoài Hôm nay chúng ta sẽ học đánh vần trong tiếng Việt Today we will learn how to spell in Vietnamese mm-hmm. Let's get started Spelling in Vietnamese is different from reading the alphabet And in this video we will learn to spell If you haven't watched how to read the alphabet You can check on these videos But today We're gonna learn just how to spell in Vietnamese. So this is how we're gonna do. We're gonna talk about how do we spell when we were kids, when we learned Vietnamese language as a Vietnamese. Second, we will learn how we spell at the moment and give you some tips on that. Mm-hmm. Đầu tiên. So when we were kids, we would read partly each component, vowels and then consonant. For example, tiếng, this is how we spell. I, A, N, I, N, T, I, N, T, I, N, S, T, I, N, T, I, N, I, E, N, I, N, T, I, N, T, I, N, S, T, I, N. Okay, that's how we learned when we were kids. Let's see some more example. So her name is Phương. Let's talk about Phương. <laughs> Now let's spell with me as a kid. U, E, N, I, N. Phở ương phương huyền phương ừ. Phương Ok, start one more time Ư, ơ, ngờ, ương Phở ương phương huyền phương Right, and of course we would never say that at the moment That's just when we learned Vietnamese in the past Ok, so that's how we spell when we were kids Now, when we are adult, uh, do we spell like that? Uh, actually not. But luckily, in Vietnamese, the word, the written form always represents how it sounds. So when you hear a Vietnamese word, we automatically understand how to write it down. Unless, um, saw an accent, we have some word mixed together. So we need to clarify. For example, let's take a look at conversation to see what do we mean. Anh. Anh tên gì vậy? Anh tên gì ta? À, anh tên Sang. Sang hả? Ờ. Sang, vậy là Sang đó là uh, sờ, là như mà sờ mạnh hay là sờ nhẹ? Cái gì sờ mạnh? Sờ, sờ này nè, sờ. À, thì cái đó đó uh, là cái sờ. Sờ của, của hình của Việt Nam á, chứ sờ này nè. Uh. À, là sờ cong đúng không? Ờ, uh, sờ cong, là, sờ mạnh á. Là sờ mạnh. Uh. À, rồi để em ghi nha. Sờ, sang. Sang, ủa nhưng mà tên của anh là An, nhưng mà là An có g hay là không có g uh, có g sang có g nghĩa là sờ mạnh a ng an ờ uh, ok vậy để em đánh dần lại coi đúng không nha uh. sang là a ng an sờ an sang đúng không ờ uh, đúng rồi là uh. sờ a n g đúng rồi đó ờ uh, sờ a n g ok, okay. rồi cảm ơn anh rồi bye bye em hỏi tên chi vậy không hỏi chơi thôi ạ à. <cười> So when we spell Vietnamese, we use how we read the alphabet in the past video. We will say N, S, and you describe to them what S you're talking about. There's many ways to explain. Like S look like this, or S mạnh, or S công lưỡi for S. You can link that word to a word that everyone knows. For example, S as in um, sẽ, sẽ, like will. And Vietnamese, they know that. And why S? And so it's so confusing because many of us make a mistake. It's not really a mistake right now, but that's how we say the S and X sounds the same. So we need to clarify. For Southern Vietnamese, also A and A and G mm-hmm. sounds the same. That's why we need to clarify. And we would ask for an có g hay không có g. Okay. And like mm-hmm. for example. A O or A U also. A O A U. Ow. Right? Ow. Uh. Uh, right. Bởi vì so in Vietnamese also make uh, these two sounds the same. A O hay là A U. Yeah. A O hay A U. How about English? How do we spell when a word is written in English? With or you know the abbreviation of some famous word. Okay. So what if you want to spell some words that not exist in Vietnamese language? But it's very common international work. Okay, our SVF uh, school. How do we spell that? Uh, do we say sờ sờ v f f phương? Of course not. Uh, uh, how yeah. how actually we would spell that? So instead of saying sờ v f f, we should say s v f f. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, you might heard us say SBFF a lot because that's English. But if a Vietnamese they say some word look like English, not really a Vietnamese, they would say F V F F. So where is these V or S from? They are from. I think it's from French. Yeah, yeah. they're from French. Tiếng Pháp. So now we're gonna read everything uh, in French right now. So listen to the way we spell for all of the letters. Okay, let's mm. start. A, A, B, B, C, C, D, D, E, E, F, F, J, J. I'm not sure it's J or G. Okay, I don't say J a lot, but uh, from the research, I, I found that they say J. Mm. Next H, we have ha. Ha. Sometimes ha. But mostly they say ha, right? Me too. I would yeah. say ha. Oh. Next, the I. E ngắn. E ngắn. E ngắn. Ca. Ca. So these two is not from French. It's from Vietnamese. N L. N L. M M. M M. N N. N N. Sometimes N N. N N. The letter R here, we don't say R, but instead we would spell O. We say O. It, it, it's like in English, O, O, look at that. O, look you guys. <laughs> <laughs> P, uh, it sounds familiar to normal B. We distinguish this to the letter B by linking their letter to a word that all of us know. B, F. B, F. We. We. But the letter itself, I think Vietnamese would call it Cool. <laughs> <laughs> right. Next, error. Error. Next, SC. SC. T. T. O. O. V. V. V kép. V kép because it looks like a double V. And kép means double. Yes. So we say V kép. Next, let's see. Let's see. Mm. Right, okay. So the question is, which way should I use? Okay, so uh, depending on which word are you spelling. If the word is in Vietnamese, you should say ta instead of te, something like that. But um, the bottom line is you try to make the listener understand. But I just want to tell you the most popular way that we say. When it comes to some English word, we mostly will spell like the French word A, B, C, not A, B, G. Now let's see some examples. COVID-19, this is not what you should say. G, A, V, E, Y. But instead, you should spell like this. C, O, V, E, D. Um, but I think we copy the way um, other people said to like COVID, COVID. Mm. But still, that's how you spell some English word. Mm-hmm. The next example. Uh, we don't say N, A, T, O. We should say N, A, T, O. But we also copy the English way they said NATO. Mm. NATO. That's all of the lesson today. This is the practice for you. Mm. Now we will give you the three word of three organization. Your job is to spell it in the way that we just told you. Mm-hmm. Okay, this word. So we will help you with the first word. It is V K T O. V K T O. For the next two words, you would answer by yourself. Look at this and try to comment your answer below. The second one. And the last one. Bình luận phía dưới nha. Ở dưới, ở dưới. Yeah. Comment, comment. So we have learned how to spell in Vietnamese. And of course, this is not everyone say it. This is just how most of us say it. Of course, some people say it differently. But I hope that from this, you can learn a little bit about how we spell in Vietnamese. Mm-hmm. And lastly, hope you enjoyed the video. Do you know that just in three months, if you learn Vietnamese one-on-one with us, then you will be able to communicate in simple Vietnamese. Register for a free 30-minute trial here. Okay. And cảm ơn. See you in our next video. Bye bye. Yeah, bye. Chào bạn. Bye bye.